Hey guys, uh, seeing there's a lot of confusion with uh, installing uh, the new contractor's beta for the Quest build. Uh, I'm just going to run through pretty much how simple it is. I have two right here now. That's for the PC mod build, and this one is for the Quest. Okay, so what we need to do is... Well, firstly, you need to have your quest in um, developer mode. So if you are using side quest to sideload stuff to your um, your quest already, uh, you would you would have to have that done. Uh, I'll put a link in the description of uh, how to enable developer mode. It's pretty straightforward. You just need to install a driver and you need to enable it on your cell phone app, okay, or your PC app. So, see, I just plugged my Quest in, and you can see up here now that I'm connected. You do not need side quest. I'm just using this to show that it is connected. It just gives you an indication that you're connected to your PC. So, if we come to Discord. Okay, right here. This is the instructions. And to download, click this. Okay, these are the two only two files that you need right here. One is 1.76 gigs, and one is 1 gig. So you click on these two, and you'll see that they're downloading. I already have these downloaded, so let's come here. I'm just going to cancel them. But anyways, once you get them downloaded, um, they will or should go to your uh, download folder by default for Windows. I'm going to cancel these. Okay. Jump forward. I even have a shortcut on my desktop to my downloads folder so I know where everything goes. And I normally sort by or group by the date modified. And it just puts everything together for day for day. So, okay, we've had these two files downloaded. And um, so what you need to do is come here like this, take two of them, right click. And if you have WinRAR, just go extract here. And it'll put this folder right here, as you can see. It'll put a new folder here. Or if you're using 7-zip, same thing. You come here like this, right click. Now you also, I have both. You can go extract here, or you can go to this one. It doesn't matter. Both will put a folder right next to it, but I always use this one with the forward, the forward slash option. Then, okay. Now we still have our quest connected, so we double click that folder and in here, you see this. Now I already have it installed, but I'm gonna try it anyways. You can right click, run as administrator, or you can just double click it and you'll get this pop up. Now I already have it done, you see? And right here at the bottom, so give me your it, percentage um, of how much it's done. It takes a little while for it to do. But once this is uh, installed, the, the window should, uh, the window will close out. And then we will uh, get into our quest and I'll show you <clears throat> Where to find uh, where to find it within your quest? Okay, so now that we're recording, let's come into your your apps menu, and if you have. Um, your uh, your quest into uh, developer mode, and once you sideload anything from either side quest or the the way I just did it, you come to unknown sources, and you'll see this is your game. So you just run it. A lot of people were saying about a black screen, but just give it a little bit of time. I find it takes maybe up to 10 seconds.
And here uh, <clears throat> you just uh, <clears throat> just run through the calibration and, and a couple of things. Set your height. You're left-handed. Confirms it and it's okay. And just here is just uh, just different uh, tutorials to get you started into the game. So yeah, that is about it. Um, so it's pretty straightforward. Just download the files and extract it like I showed you and make sure your quest is plugged in with developer mode and unknown sources like this and you should see your game right there so just open her up and have some fun anyways hopefully it helped and we're trying the best to help people out that are uh, having a lot of issues since the game with quest so anyways see ya